Hey everyone, thought I would do a quick video with self-driving and normally when I do these I'm talking about testing self-driving beta and seeing how it's doing today, current version, how it's working. Um, but I really think we're moving beyond a point of testing. It is clearly still a beta product. Um, it's not been released otherwise, but I'll tell you that I use full self-driving on every drive that I do. There is not a single day or trip that I don't engage self-driving. Um, there may be times where I want to drive and I take over and I do different things. Um, but as a rule, the car drives me everywhere I'm going all the time at this point. Um, so I thought I would take a couple minutes and just talk about the state of self-driving with Tesla as of late 2023. It's October 2023 right now. Um, the current version of self-driving software is 11.4.7. It's the most recent version that's out there. Um, and man, has this come a long way from where we were a year ago with self-driving beta. Um, you know, if I think back to a year or so ago, it was pretty horrific. It was unusable for the most part, other than testing it out and seeing what it would do for fun. Um, it would do uh, what you would call phantom braking, where like right now it would just brake for no reason. Um, it would often brake very hard whether it was supposed to be braking or it shouldn't be braking. Either way, it would do it so hard that anybody in your car would be like, please turn that off. Um, it was a terrible experience. Um, they would pull out in front of cars. There were all kinds of things. And if you look through the internet, through YouTube, you're gonna see all kinds of comments about how bad it is and all those types of things that it does and blowing through a stop sign or a red light. Um, all true that it did those things. Um, However, those things are gone. I don't see any of that. Um, uh, this has only been a minute or so, but you don't see hard braking. You don't see it slamming on the brakes. Um, it's driving perfectly fine down the road. It's aware of the traffic around it. Um, I haven't had to touch the wheel. The only time I'm touching the wheel is uh, there is still currently a message that pops up periodically telling you to touch the steering wheel. And that's because it's illegal right now to not be aware and ready to take over. Um, it is not because there's a need to. Um, it's going to navigate everywhere we go here just perfectly fine. Um, and now I don't want to sound like a, um, I don't know, a Tesla fanboy. I guess I am a Tesla fanboy. But there are problems. And if you look through my channel, you can see plenty of those videos where things went wrong. Uh, but what I would stress is those are few and far between, and that's like why I like to balance those out. Um, they're great to make short little clips and show, look what happened. Um, but the reality is that 95% or more of the time, the system works perfectly. And this is still a beta, so imagine where it's going to be. So I like to do these longer videos to show the good side of self-driving and give that full view into everything. And again, if you look at my channel, you'll see the good and bad. It's definitely very balanced. I am a fan of Tesla, but I certainly show the bad as well. Um, but the bad stuff is getting less and less to the point where I really don't have things to post anymore as shorts. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it works well. Um, and I guess that's a problem to not have bad stuff to post as shorts, but that's the best problem you could have if you want to say that this software is working well. Um, you know, I think about the safety of it and, you know, a lot of the videos and criticism that were posted a, a year ago, um, talking about how unsafe it was, there was some validity to that and it, they were fair statements. Um, if I had been using self-driving a year ago and was hands off and didn't care, certainly would have gotten an accident, probably would have died. Somebody else would have died. That's not where this is anymore. And I think it's important to balance that out, um, and, you know, just realizing that people who haven't driven in a Tesla um, with self-driving really don't have an idea of what it can do. They just see the stories they've read online about how dangerous it is, and those types of things. It's truly not at this point. Um, it's, as you can see, we're navigating through this traffic. We're going through this line. Um, it's monitoring the traffic signals. You see it's monitoring all the cars around me. I mean, I, I would honestly say that the car is safer driving today than I probably am. I'm much more likely to get distracted. You have cameras surrounding the car. The car is looking in all directions at once. It's monitoring what the car behind you is doing, the cars on the side of you are doing. 
the ones pulling out of uh, uh, driveways and other streets, it's looking at everything at once and processing its reactions that humans can't do that. We can't look at everything. Number one, we get easily distracted. The computer is not going to get distracted. It's focused on this task and nothing else. It's driving the car. Um, it's incredibly safe at this point. Um, again, I'm not advocating for laying down and taking a nap while you're driving the car. You could do that. You could get past the nag of touch the steering wheel by putting a little weight on the steering wheel so that it thinks somebody's hand is on it. Um, but that would be stupid. Uh, I'm not advocating anything like that. I think you still need to be aware and pay attention, but man, it does great. I mean, I think you should see that in this video. And really, I just wanted to give that quick update on how is self-driving working today. Um, this is it. It works great. It can drive you where you're going almost all the time with no problem. So that's all. Just wanted to share that. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening and see any more um, updates, enhancements, fe new features, I definitely am sharing all of that on my channel just because I love this stuff. Not for any other reason. I've got nothing in this. Um, I just enjoy this stuff. So take a look at my channel. Subscribe if you'd like. Um, I appreciate it. And thanks for watching. And I hope you'll watch some more.